Hey there, Postal here. So uh, the other day we took a look at a overpowered tier 6 heavy fighter. Not indefeatable, but certainly overpowered uh, in the XP 54, the Swoos Goose. Today we're going to take a look at a tier 8 behemoth of a plane. This is all the way zoomed out, by the way. Um, this is the B-29C. It's a premium tier 8 American bomber that has all the bombs. Um, and we're going to see how well a very poor bomber pilot does in a very good premium bomber. Let's take a look. Let's just uh, let's just soak up the B-29C in all its glory. Engines are so freaking loud. Um, you got that bassy rumble. Let me zoom in and, and actually listen to that. But this is not uh, necessarily easy mode. You do need to be thinking ahead when you're in this plane. Um, what do I mean by that? Well. The B-29C is not the world's fastest plane. No matter how big it is and well defended it is, uh, it is still going to be something that you need to be thinking at least one step ahead when it comes to what sector am I going to. It's really going to be the difference with any of your bombers, but especially the slow bombers like this one. And. That's my biggest struggle in bombers. So this is just a carpet bomber. Uh, we're dropping all the bombs here, right? And will that be enough? No, I know. Um, does seem to be dropping across there. I think I might have actually missed a couple bombs. But we're gonna move along. Actually, I guess we can't move along this bomber. Up oh, there, my good. I'm gonna move to their airbase. I don't mind that getting into a brawl with this plane. Look at how many hit points I have. 3,000 still, even after taking some hits. Um, ooh, we've got nine seconds before anything happens here. So. Two, one. By the time those bombs get there, there will be something to hit. Alrighty. Let's dive down a little bit here. I guess I'm hoping they come after me. I'm actually going to circle around here. I'm going to dive down a little bit. I don't want to be at a straight angle. Would you stop shooting at that guy? Freaking moronic auto aim shenanigans. Cool. Heavy planes die. Thank you. Light fighters. Die, thank you. Next. Just circling around. I am not an expert at this by any means, as you can clearly tell. Too late, sir. Too late. Cool. That was fun, wasn't it? Um, let's head on to the center, I guess. My bombs are back. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So you've got 40 bombs here, right? 4,500-pound bombs. Wrap your brain around that. Uh, that's 10 tons worth of bombs. Unfortunately, the engines do take forever to load back in. Load back in to restart. Uh, so we're going to be going at a very uh, mediocre pace here. 
I think I am gonna go center. Normally, uh, you know, if I'm trying to uh, be completely on top. Hello. Wrong way, dude. I'm going to want to go for the air, uh, the command center. But the fact is, I kind of want to be able to have this game go for a little bit longer. Even though I'm not a very good bomber pilot, you can already tell if you are any good at flying bombers. Um, actually, is there any freaking ground targets over here to, to actually destroy? Oh, there are a few. So sure, we'll drop. Enough of that. All the bullets. Get back there, dude. Let's angle up. You don't want to be too much of a sitting duck. We're actually going to die here, aren't we? Maybe. Aim now. Thank you. I don't have any wings, so that's gonna hurt me. Try <laughs> to angle down. See if I can survive this. I can. Excellent. Am I gonna survive the flak? Who knows? All right. Cool. So let's get our altitude back up here. We still have one freaking load of bombs. So you know. Only 10 tons. Ooh, this could hurt. There's a Hornet. Yeah, I was going to say, they've got actual bullets on them. I uh, wasn't able to survive that engagement, but we'll uh, reload and go straight for the airbase. Obviously, I already, already lived for longer than I probably should have. I'm actually going to spawn here. So that way I can play defense for a little bit on my way out. Give the deuces and try to kill some peeps. Let's dive down a little bit. A little bit. He says as he goes into a complete nosedive. Anybody close enough to shoot? Not quite. Alright, well let's get some altitude then. Just a little bit on the low end of the white altitude. I don't trust myself outside of that bracket. Got all the boosts in the world here. All right. Uh, we need to keep going straight. Boost, boost, boost. Circle back around. I've got the hit points, so let's use them. There we go. And by the time I get to the other side, I should have all 40 of my bombs ready to go. Try to get into the white altitude here, at least like 7,000 feet, so that way I can determine if I go up or down. Who is this guy? That. Oh, there's some bombers here that just need to die. Hello, sir. How are you? How's it going? I'm just going over to this other sector. Uh, I'm gonna shoot at you anyway. Because why not? What else am I gonna do as I cross the world here? Cool. Got some cheeky shots in there. It looks like there's a heavy fighter inbound. There definitely is. Is that a hornet? That sneaky hornet? Not gonna restart my engine yet. Not 
not so easy when uh, when I'm actually on full health, is it? Oh my god, I just accidentally dropped my bombs. Oh shit. That is pretty piss poor. down. Let's assault vehicle this thing. Seriously? Look at send all those freaking guns. <laughs> melt, melt, melt. Oh my goodness. And I'm not a good bomber pilot. You can tell. I'm sure people are watching this, especially uh, actually good bomber pilots are watching this going, what? is he doing um, I'm still learning and yet even in my incompetent hands the B29C is ridiculous ridiculous this is actually a really good example of how not good at bo I mean I'm dropping bombs at the wrong time like accidentally still getting used to the new buttons on my mouse that's what I'm gonna blame it on but the fact of the matter is I'm an idiot all right, in our second battle here, we've actually got a, uh, a viable um, plane to go against us. This is the XP-58. I don't know Frosty Fanatic. Um, but the XP-58 is one of the few Tier 8 heavy fighters I'd actually be afraid of. Um, it has very good cannons. 37mm cannons. Not quite as good as the 37mm cannons on an XP-54, but hey, what are you going to do? Um, so we definitely need to be mindful of him. We can't mess... Uh, we can still... If we're on full health, we're going to win the, the engagement. Hell, if we're on... If we're above 50% health, I would think we'd win that engagement. Um, unless he knows what he's doing and coming from the proper angle. The... Um... The, the proper area of attack on a B-29C is directly above or directly below, which, you know, isn't accurate for real life, but luckily in the game there's at least some, some uh, areas that you can actually hit a B-29C at, and that's directly above and directly below. If you're directly above and directly below, you've got a chance. Hello, sir. You have no chance. Wanna try that again? Cool. Um Yeah, about that. So let's see what we can do here. I don't know if I'm gonna yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna, gonna say I didn't think that we'd actually be able to capture this sector, so I'm gonna make a U-turn really quick. Turn back around and we'll, we'll capture this sector in 14 seconds. Oh, actually, I should turn around now because it's going to take me that long to get turned around. Kind of funny we're on the same map, or at least same genre of map. Um, we're going to dive down here. Come on, get 6,000 feet. All right, and ooh, I'm kind of at a funky angle, but oh well. What can you do? That was a little late. Whee, swinging around. Swinging udders, if anybody knows that band. Never mind. Um, how are you? Cool. It's a lot of bullets coming at you there, sir. Unfortunately, the enemy team is uh, completely owning everything they're doing, and it looks like my bomb drop is jack all any nothing. The enemy team is actually doing exactly what they need to do. Can't can't outcap a B29C. So 
go where the B-29C isn't and cap everything else. Like, don't try to stop them from capturing the sector they're capturing, because he ain't gonna do it. Um, although, the XP-58 could be waiting till I'm a little bit weaker and then coming to attack me, which again, is another viable tactic. I still have 2,200 hit points, even though I'm on two-thirds health. Tell me that's not ridiculous, and I'll call you a liar. Um, all right, so we're reloaded on our bombs. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, let's get our finger off the frickin' boost, shall we? Ah, you took away my... Took away my opportunity. Wiggling and waggling. Oh, never mind. Got it. Um, alright, so we still want to stay off the boost. I need to... I don't want to go for that garrison because I suspect it'll be flipped anyway. Let's go for the airbase that's in front of us. Low rumble is kind of soothing somehow. Um, can I make a jackknife turn here? We're going to find out. No, the answer is no. <laughs> that was terrible bomb drop. Oh my lord. Well, I guess we're going to just hang out here and do the thing that the B-29C does, and that's get the sector by pummeling the uh, defense aircraft out of existence. Do we want to, you want to like start actually hitting? There we go. Again, I don't want to put my um, engines in because I'm not trying to get away from anybody here. If you want to go slower, so I can just kind of circle around. Single down. Hello. Start firing, thank you. Like, fired for two seconds and then stopped. Why are my guns stopping? Can I possibly be overheating them? I don't even know. All right, so let's go across the center here. We're fully reloaded. I need that guy to, I need that guy, I need that guy to die. Uh, we're just gonna try to go straight across here. See what we can do. Lost a few hundred health there, but still at 1900. Cause you know, reasons. All right, let's actually try to do a competent bomb drop, if it's at all possible. Be advised, a line of thunderstorms is approaching. We'll soon be unable to provide support. Do you copy? Over. Ugh. down. Let's not make ourselves an easy target here. If at all possible. Thank you. Oh, I killed him too quickly. I'm on precariously low health. He's going to respawn at the frickin' respawn point. I could be in a hell of a lot of trouble here. Can I get myself to somewhere? I'm gonna try to get myself over to to this sector here. Crap, now I am dead. 
totally did. is here that I've got longer range than he can hit at. Yes! Oh my goodness. The F7 key helped me. It honestly saved me. Um, I've still got 200 health, which looks like a sh small amount and it kind of sort of is. Yeah, well now I'm at 150, 130. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Wasn't able to live. Was able to live a lot longer than I should have. Um, hopefully my bombs help get that center sector. Dang it. Oh man, and again, I know I'm doing I'm doing a lot incorrect. Um, just not able to um, be nearly as competent as I know some other people are gonna be out there. Um, I don't know, I don't think we're going to win this battle, which kind of sort of sucks, unless we're able to just kill the uh, enemy aircraft, but I'm not sure that's going to happen in time. doesn't really look like it's going to happen at all. Um, we'll take a look at the end. So unfortunately a defeat, but that was a lot on me, just really piss poor bomb drops. Really piss poor bomb drops. Uh, and still got 15,000 personal points. Let's uh, take a look at the end results. All right, for that first battle, this is the first battle I've flown in the B-29C in months and months and months. I'm just, uh, I'm not very good at bombers, and yeah, we'll leave it at that. Um, that being said, if I hadn't died, I would have gotten a Gabreski. So we didn't actually even do a whole lot of ground damage, only 50,000 ground damage. And the fact that this plane can do uh, 200,000 in a drop just shows you how bad my aiming was with the bombs. Did it matter? Nope. Got five sectors. Um, was it fun? Yeah, kind of like yester uh, yesterday. The, the, the XP-54, sure, it's fun. Um... B-29C, a ton of fun. A lot of fun. Um, but the game is so skewed towards the B-29C pilot that it's really the B-29C pilot's game to lose. Um, yeah, and that's not how the game should be. It shouldn't be that you've got a, uh, a, a 9 out of 10 chance of winning uh, as long as you've got um, some competency in flying bombers. It's not the way that the balancing should be. So in that second battle, uh, did more ground damage, but again, just really ineffective, really annoying. But if that shows you anything, somebody that's actually competent in the B-29C, like no wonder they're getting 20,000 personal points. Um, if I'm over here slapping my forehead and tripping over my, my shoelaces and getting 14,000, 20,000 is going to be relatively easy for somebody who's actually good in bombers. And I know I've personally seen above 25,000 um, various times when going against B-29C. Uh, so that's, you know, somebody that really knows what the heck they're doing. Uh, I'm annoyed with myself because we really should have won that. But, you know, kudos to the enemy team for pulling it out. Um, but again, no offense to them. I think that was more on me being incompetent. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Taking a look at the B-29C, yeah, I've got this plane specialized. Um, I've got it built for survivability, and it tends to do me well with survivability. It's not the plane's ability to survive that's failing me. It's my ability to drop bombs properly, and that's just going to take me flying the B-29C more. Unlike the XP-54, which we looked at on Monday, the B-29C... XP-54, like, you're used to just, you know, firing your guns, so it's... it. Whether you play a fighter, multi-role, or heavy fighter, the XP-54 is going to transition to your skill set. Um, you know, dropping bombs and, and knowing the angle that you're trying to go at and when to actually drop the bombs and all that stuff. It's a learned uh, mechanic. And I don't fly bombers very often, so I need to fly bombers more so I can be used to that. 
Typically when I do fly bombers, it's more precision bombers where you drop a bomb, drop a bomb, drop a bomb. The German bombers, I do really quite well in those. But even when I feel like I'm doing well, I don't necessarily do uh, 17 and 15,000 personal points. So I, I, I really do love this aircraft. Mainly because of it's a B-29. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, it's fun to fly. For me, it's fun to fly because I know there's going to be games like this uh, where my incompetency balances out m the overpoweredness of this plane. And the B-29C is overpowered. Let's take a look at why. Again, I've got this thing built for, for survivability. The um, cockpit armor helps the gunner's resistance to injuries and the pilot's resistance to injuries. And you still saw that, you know, one of my gunners would get knocked out from time to time, actually pretty often. Um, got ultimate reinforced airframe. That's going to help my overall aircraft hit points. And the bonuses help the resistance from AA guns and critical damage. Um, I have on here up, um, ultimate engine armor protection as well. Supposed to help the engine's resistance to critical damage, but you see that uh, the engines still get knocked out pretty often. Um, makes me wonder how often they would get knocked out if I didn't have this on here. Some of the bonuses, again, help with the hit points even more. Uh, I've got a turret gun sight on here. Now, there's a lot of different options for the turrets on, on this plane, and there's like 11 different turrets or something like that. I, I don't even remember. I know I, we counted it once, and, and I forgot, and I'm not counting it again. But there's a lot of good options when it comes to the turrets on the equipment. I've got the turret gun sight. Um, that increases the defensive range, excuse me, the, the range of the defensive turrets when you're manually controlling them. And you notice I manually control my turrets quite a bit. Uh, basically, whenever, whenever there's somebody around me, I'm going to manually control them. And so for me, getting an extra 18% uh, range is, is very helpful. Uh, and, and that can be buffed up even more, right? I'm pretty sure I could probably get it close to 25%, uh, which is phenomenal. An extra 25% on the range is pretty significant. Yeah, it, it decreases the gunner's resistance injuries. As you saw, I had the gunners knocked out pretty often. Um, but that, that additional range, plus the bonuses of, of getting crits, um, is incredibly helpful in my opinion. Something else that you could go with is the turret armor protection. That's going to keep the gunners um, ready to go more often. Uh, you know, their resistance injuries is increased, so that's not necessarily a bad thing. The turret gun laying drive um, helps the aiming speed in automatic mode. Uh, that might be helpful if you're not comfortable with going to manual mode. Uh, just being able to have the uh, the defensive turrets automatically aim a little bit quicker. Not even a little bit quicker. Uh, quicker in general isn't necessarily a bad thing uh, and so those three different options like it just matters your play style um, it's going to be helpful no matter what direction you go in one of the things you may have noticed is pitching up and pitching down that significantly helps just going in a straight line when you're in a bomber or a ground attacker or really anything with rear with a rear turret Going in a straight line, you're only going to stay alive for so long, even in a B-29C. Uh, being able to pitch up and pitch down makes it so much more difficult to actually be hit and really can throw off an enemy aircraft. That XP-58 was not... I was not making it easy for him. And, and you saw how much damage he was able to do to me. Um, you know, luckily, I just had a million hit points. But being able to pitch up and pitch down and wiggle around, you will survive. Do not just go in a straight line. Do not be a battleship in World of Warships and then wonder why a torpedo hit you because you were going in a straight line at the same speed for the last five minutes. Um, whether you're in a B-29 or an IL-10M, which we're going to look at in a couple days, or, or uh, an ME-410, doesn't matter. If you've got a rear gunner on it and you're trying to defend yourself with that rear gunner, don't go in a straight line. Move up, move down, move left, move right. Make it difficult for them to hit you while you're taking easy pot shots at them. Um, last but not least, I've got the strength and hard points. So this helps with the bomb reload speed. Yes, it slows my plane down even more. Uh, but the reload speed on these bombs, uh, you know, he's thrown enough crap at the wall and it's going to stick. Definitely sticking. Uh, 
when you know I'm aiming properly here. As far as consumables are concerned, first aid package. I you know I just want to get my gunners back in. I've got so many of them I know, but I want to make sure I get them back in. For my engine, manual engine restart is a necessity. Once I specialized it, I put on here improved mixture control. Having the extra like 10 seconds worth of boost, like using the engine cooling, you've got so much boost on here, I don't find myself wanting extra boost. I'd rather have improved mixture control, which helps my engine thrust and cruise speed all the time. Smaller impact, but it's all the time impact, so it's basically spread out over the whole battle. I've put uh, universal ammo for the turrets and improved fragmentation for the bombs. And, and you can see here, I'm at 256 for my bomb and rocket rating. Out of 100. Um, yeah, there's 40 bombs. They do 208,000 combined. I'm sure I'm sure other people have it even higher just because I haven't fully upgraded all my equipment. But 208,000 per drop. Um, the resupply time is 69 seconds. I'm pretty sure I can get it down below 60 seconds. It's mind-blowing in my opinion. Um, you can't balance that. How do you balance that? Oh, well, let's balance it with uh, survivability. Um, 3,300 hit points. Uh, resistance to damage is 77. Resistance to fire at 97. I mean, the plane's not going to catch on fire is basically what you're telling me. It's just ridiculous. My survivability is above 100. I'm 107. It, yeah, you can kill a B-29C, but what do you have to do to kill a B-29C? Um, a lot. It's not easy. Even if you're, you're precisely attacking from below and above, which I've done, um, I've taken B-29Cs out. Whether it's in an XP-58 or a BVP-203, uh, a DOE-335, any of the Tier 9 heavies, it can be done. But you can't just sit behind them or even sit to the side of them. You can't attack them from these angles. You have to attack from the bottom and then come back down and from the top and from the bottom. And it's awkward angles so that you're not, you can't, obviously you can't just kill them in one pass or even two passes. So it just takes time. All the while, they're picking away at you. God forbid you, you have a bad angle of attack on one of those attacks. They're just going to melt you down. And they're dropping bombs the whole time, too. So really bad combination. And that's what makes this plane overpowered. If someone like me, who's not a bomber pilot, can get in this plane and do what I did. Most of it was defensive fire, defensive turrets, and more than ground damage. That's what I'm saying. Is like that's it's just ridiculous. Um, what's funny is it says gun armaments is 17. Don't believe it. Um, 840 damage per second. That's pretty significant considering that's more than a tier 10 heavy fighter's health pool um, in one second. Still shows 17. I don't know why. That doesn't make any sense to me. But what do I know? Airspeed is going to be pretty slow, yada, yada, yada. Maneuverability is nothing. None of that matters. You have so many bombs and so much survivability. None of the other stuff matters. And and like I mentioned in the first battle, could have gotten a Gabreski. If I didn't die the one time, would have had a Gabreski, which would have been hilarious because I wasn't even trying. Um, and so the more I play this plane, the better I'm going to get at, at this play style. Uh, this and a B-32, although B-32 obviously can't defend itself nearly as well. And the reload on the B-32 is, is significantly higher. Um, it's just, yeah, balance balancing was not thought of when it came to this plane. And this plane is exactly why Wargaming has no idea. I'm willing to bet. I don't know this, but I'm willing to bet Wargaming has no freaking idea how to complete the American bomber line. How do you go from this to anything at Tier 9? What are you going to have at Tier 9 that's going to be balanced? nothing you'd have to completely change the the bomber style you couldn't go to like a b-52 that would have twice as many bombs as this and go higher and faster and have more health you'd have to balance you'd have to find some sort of balance and this thing is so out of whack balance wise that there's it doesn't really feel like there's any coming back there's no way to go to tier 9 and people be like because if you balance tier 9 people are gonna be like well the freaking tier 8's 
a better plane. Why would I go to tier nine if if I could just fly the B twenty nine C? Um, that's completely unbalanced. Why would I go to this tier nine, whatever they come up with? Um, and, and so, yeah, I, I suspect that we're not going to be seeing American bombers. Um, and if we do, they're not going to be the same ilk of the B twenty nine C. That's for sure. Could you imagine? b-52 at like you know the the bomb rating at like almost 500 or something like that uh no no i can't it just my brain hurts just thinking about it my brain hurts just thinking about it so the last thing that we didn't we didn't even talk about is obviously this is a premium plane so the cool thing is i've just i've put my p my b-32 pilot in here um so you know you've got demolition expert which you desperately want just to get extra damage out of your bombs but i've got protection expert because protection experts make my survivability even better by 40%. Um, I've got cruise flight on here, which just allows me to see what's incoming. I want to be able to see heavy fighters or those, those poor unfortunate fighters that try to attack me. I want to see them ahead of time. On top of that, I've even got fire resistance, um, which I guess I probably don't even need. I got it on here because what else am I going to put? I, I could have put um, eagle eye, but it didn't really seem like something that's a necessity. I've got my B-17G gunner on here for some reason, um, which makes me laugh. You put defensive fire on a gunner on a B-29C, the enemy's doing 30% less damage to you if you're firing at the enemy. So that XP-58, for instance, uh, the Hornet from the game before, as soon as I start firing at them, they're doing less damage to me by 30%, simply because I'm firing at them. And you know I'm doing a crap ton of damage to them. So getting a good 10-point gunner on your B-29C um, I think is really incredibly helpful because you can get defensive fire. You can get ballistics expert, which increases the range of the turrets by 10%. So again, just reaching out further and further. Um, eventually, I'll be getting something like precision gunner or uh, weakest link. Um, probably weakest link to be honest would be the best one to go for because you could just knock out that that weakest uh, enemy aircraft and move on to the next one and just start whittling them down super quickly when you're in this plane crazy right um but did we even look at the actual credits that i've earned in this particular plane without a premium account and, and not doing all that well uh, one hundred nineteen thousand. Um, would have been 180,000 basically with premium in the loss uh, in the game that I won 160,000 would have been almost a quarter of a million with premium and so you just you're 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 right off the bat there's a fear factor um, then there's just the fact that you will be effective as long as you know the basics of how to how to have a bomber set up and literally just the basics of of how to defend yourself you're going to be effective in this plane because it can't not be effective and once you specialize it like I've, I've literally just specialized it before i started recording it just becomes a complete behemoth it's super strong before you specialize it it's a behemoth once you've specialized it and so this is broken plane number two for this week um that makes people yeah when they see it on the enemy team they go well let's just see how many personal points i can get because we probably lost uh, unless we're going as Postal Monkey, and then there's like a 50-50 chance that we've won. <laughs> anyway, um, I'd love to hear your perspective on this plane. I know there's been a lot. Everybody's been pretty vocal about it anyway. Um, in my Discord, I know quite a few people have posted uh, um, pics of them getting Gabreskis in their B-29C. Um, and now I see why. Uh, so yeah, I'd love to hear your perspective. Feel free to comment down below or hop in my Discord. The link is in the description below. Uh, tomorrow, excuse me, not tomorrow, uh, Friday we'll have a slightly less, um, um, controversial plane than the XP-54 and the B-29C. I'm going to be flying the IL-10M. This plane, again, was gifted to me, uh, by Sergeant Zach. I certainly appreciate it. And so we're going to take a look at, at what this plane can do at Tier 8 as a ground attacker. Uh, it is pretty unique, not just because it's Chinese, so we'll take a look at that. I hope you join me, and have a great day. Bye.